This video shows uh, how to compile and run Java programs from the command line called the command prompt window. Once you install uh, JDK and then some other ID like Eclipse, you can run Java program from the IDE, but still you cannot uh, be able to run it from the uh, command prompt uh, because uh, the windows, the command prompt uh, needs some path variable configuration. So if this is Windows 8, uh, you can get the command prompt uh, by doing search cmd. Uh, but you can similarly get the command prompt uh, in uh, Windows uh, uh, 7 or XP from the uh, start button. So Java compiler is Java C. Even if uh, JDK is installed, it says that Java C compi compiler is not recognized yet. Because uh, from the command, command prompt, uh, when you run some command, uh, the command is uh, searched uh, based on a uh, path environment variable. So you need to set that. So that is under control panel. So settings and control panel, you can do that. So Windows XP or 7, you can get to the control panel from start as well. So you can view this as a category or a small icon or a large icon and so on. But the place you need to you do is a system. So either uh, categories is a system is here or you can go system some other way. Then system here. Uh, then advanced system settings is the place uh, Windows 7 or older ones uh, uh, This will be somewhere else uh, But you can find it as you look into closely So advanced settings uh, And then environment variable is the place uh, you need to configure that So here under system variable section There is a path variable So. Uh, when uh, uh, you type some command uh, from the command prompt window uh, first the command is searched at this location semicolon and another location and so on so as you install java jdk the path variable is not automatically configured for you so you need to change uh, the path variable setting so what you need to do is uh, find where java is installed uh, so uh, in my computer, which is Windows 8, uh, it's under Program Files, and then Java, and then JDK 1.7. This is the most uh, recent one I'm using now. So go there, JDK 1.7, and then bin directory. Under bin, these are all Java execution commands files. So Java C, here's a uh, compiler, Java is a virtual machine running and so on. So what you need to do is copy the path of a bin folder in JDK installation. So click this address line, control C, make a copy of that. You no longer need this window. So copy the path information and then okay, I'm, I'm going to edit to the path variable over here. I'm going to the very front, so I press the home key, so I'm at the very front of the value uh, for the variable, so I do control V to paste up, and then add a semicolon, so it's a semicolon separated syntax. So as you type up, type uh, some command from the command, command prompt window, the first place the computer system will look for is a uh, JDK installation directory in the bin folder. Okay, and okay. Now the information is set. Uh, so if I go to the pr command prompt, it will not work yet because uh, the change is not the effective uh, for any existing command prompt. Uh, so I need to close it and then reopen it. Reopen command prompt. Uh, then if I type Java C minus version that it runs and this says Java C 1.7 is uh, currently running. So we now set that uh, Java can be compiled and run from command prompt window. So here uh, let me show you another thing that uh, when you create a Java program 
uh, almost all the cases uh, we have a uh, lots of class definitions so for this example I have three class definitions uh, so if I compile it so let me move it to the location uh, I copied this one into mm, OP OOP concept example one and then I uh, copied the NetBeans uh, project here is so the programs are under SSRC folder so those are three Java files are there so if I compile them the main program is in main.java so if I compile the program as you can see for each class definition a dot class file is created that's a compiled code for the class so then you can run the compiled program now it runs so here uh, if you want to move uh, the compiled code for example you want to distribute uh, the Java program not the source program but compiled the code only you want to distribute it and then uh, carrying those three or more class files are not very convenient uh, so there's another way of uh, carrying the compiled code from computer to another the NetBeans uh, provides you such a uh, tool so in this project uh, first the thing what you need to do is uh, the pro project uh, should run by pressing the uh, run button uh, this is a tri green triangle uh, to do so you need to set the properties of, of a project uh, so right to click and properties uh, and under run you should set which is a main class main, which is a, which class has the main method so choose the select main class uh, and then OK then as you press the green button the project runs once this is configured uh, then under run menu there is a build project uh, option so as you choose a uh, build project uh, then uh, what is produced is uh, an archive uh, for the entire uh, compiled code are created so here in NetBeans the project tab is only for logical structure not physical file system structure but physical structure you can see under files uh, tab uh, under files tab uh, as you can see those are uh, subfolder structures different from logical view but in physical structure uh, under this uh, distribution folder something that jar this this uh, uh, usually NetBeans project name that jar is created so this jar file is an arch archive for all the compiled code so you can simply carry uh, this jar file so to show you let me navigate it into the where the jar file is there the jar file is a uh, file is under DIST distribution folder so if, if I move the distribution folder you can find that jar, jar file is there so if you can just carry this jar file to some other place or some other computer and then you can run it using the command uh, this way which is a Java to run it of course minus a jar option and then type the jar file name then it runs so this is a easier way to carry the compiled file to another place or another computer and to run it so it's good for the distribution